Yo, welcome Frony. So first good news, the wait is over. All the people that were worried that we are not going to get a preload or whatever, we finally have a date on it's starting tomorrow on September the 24th. So basically two days before early access, you will be able to preload the game. Um, if it's anything like the Korean version and the open beta, we will also be able to do our settings right away. If you don't know how to do it, I will link the video on how to do the proper settings. So when you're going into the game, you can actually start right away and you don't have to kill your hype by doing some settings first and let me tell you doing settings is needed the default settings of the game are horrible but the actual big news where i am extremely excited about as a competitive player is the event that they have announced the conquest of guilt it's an event that will last for two weeks it will be separate for early access and launch server so you don't have to worry about that and it's guild focused as the name says the rewards i would say are not that great like the um, ornate coins they are coins that will be used to buy visual stuff in the special shop but still having that ability to compete I, I think it's amazing and they have made it so it's not pvp only like you can contribute as a pve player to your guild you can contribute as a pvp player i honestly have to say after almost like what 20 years of playing mmos this is the best guild event setup from like the thought behind it that i've ever seen now let's Let's go over what you actually can do to contribute to your guild. And the first thing is PvP. So in the arena, if the people out of your guild will reach any of the spots for your server, like 1st to 10th, they will gain points for that guild. Then we are having another PvP one. And this is actually for the Boonstones and the Rift Stones, where every time they are successfully conquering one of those and winning the battles, you will receive 8 points for your guild. But be aware, there's one thing. You always need to do a new one. So for example, if you got lucky and or if you're really good and you manage to get the 5% um, skill damage boost to Boonstone, next round, you actually want to give that up and fight for a different one to have the ability to get those 8 points again. Next up is actually something PvE, and that is about the co-op dungeons. They will actually check which guild can clear those dungeons the fast. That means all 6 players out of that guild have to be in that party that is clearing the dungeon, and based on how fast you're clearing it, you will actually get points on the server. I enjoy doing timed runs. That's probably the only thing that I enjoy in PvE. Um, Speedrun dungeons and stuff that is not like too long like for example speed running a leveling process that takes like three hours maybe two two and a half hours if you have maxed it out to the max like that's not my thing but like quick running dungeons trying to find ways on how to improve min max the times i love it then next up we're having the collection codex so they also have something added here for the pve completionists under us so first person able to find all the purple pages of the codex will get 30 points for their server and then downwards if no one actually managed to find them of course like the highest number of collected pages will go as a measurement then we're having dynamic events where the guild with the most points earned throughout those events will actually get the highest reward and based on if there's like a tie or something like this then they will take just the amount of first places that you're getting next up we are having again a pve aspect the gate of infinity it's basically a challenging boss in the solo mode that is like supposed to be harder to do and here the people that get the quickest runs per guild per boss will count and there's one thing here that i personally don't like at all and that is weapon combination is not considered if pve balance would be perfect then i wouldn't care about this but crossbow dagger is actually in pve a decent amount faster than some other builds so i don't think that that is a smart decision not doing it by classes like for me personally i don't give a fuck actually because i'm a crossbow dagger right but overall for the whole server the whole population i think this is a bad decision and now the final one on how you can contribute is actually just by playing rank board that is in the game the guild rank leaderboard where you can rank up based on the activity that you're doing the pvp modes everything that is giving guild activity points you can rack up and here you will see you're getting a large amount of points for that this is the highest individual points that you can be getting yeah now overall one thing is the whole system is based on the top scoring guilds per server so let's say you are on a server where there's two major guilds that are like competing to each other really strong yeah? then 
one of them, even though they are really strong, will probably fall behind. If you're in a server where there's like a lots of medium guilds or whatever, and you are like in a top guild, you will have a really easy time farming those points. So I could imagine that that system will also give a new twist on how some guilds are determining on which server they actually want to play on. Yeah, guys, this is it. If you are as hyped as I am, type a hype in the comments and we see you on launch stream. Cheers, guys. Thank you